This is CNBC's live blog tracking developments on the Israel-Hamas war. See below for the latest updates. Palestinian telecommunications company Paltel said overnight that all internet and communication services in the Gaza Strip have been interrupted. The same data provider said Friday that internet service in the Strip had been cut off by Israeli bombardment. Meanwhile, dozens of people were reportedly killed and injured after an airstrike on the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza on Tuesday. The Hamas-run health ministry and the director of the nearby Indonesian hospital said at least 50 people were killed in the blast. CNBC was unable to independently verify the number of casualties. An IDF spokesperson said the Israeli military killed senior Hamas commander Ibrahim Biari, one of the architects of the October 7 terror attack, during the deadly strike. CNBC was not able to confirm his death. Elsewhere, Bolivia announced it has severed diplomatic ties with Israel as a result of civilian losses caused by its war campaign. Chile and Colombia have recalled their ambassadors to the Middle Eastern country for consultations. Saudi Arabia has condemned, in the strongest terms possible the inhumane targeting by the Israeli occupation forces of the Jabalia refugee camp in the besieged Gaza Strip, its foreign ministry said in a statement. Saudi Arabia denounced, the repeated targeting by the Israeli occupation forces of densely populated civilian areas, and its continuing violation of international law and international humanitarian law. The Israeli military said a lethal airstrike on the Jabalia refugee camp in the northern Gaza Strip killed a senior Hamas commander on Tuesday. Dozens of other people were killed, while hundreds were wounded, a local hospital says. Saudi Arabia has historically supported the cause of the Palestinian people, refusing to knot diplomatic ties with Israel as a result. Progress was being made on normalizing relations between the two countries, encouraged by the United States, which seeks coordination between two strong Middle East allies, prior to the October 7 terror attacks perpetrated against Israel by Palestinian militant group Hamas. Bolivia on Tuesday announced it has severed diplomatic ties with Israel as a result of civilian losses caused by its war campaign in the Gaza Strip, while Chile and Colombia have recalled their ambassadors to the Middle Eastern country for consultations. The Bolivian decision took place after a Monday meeting with the Palestinian ambassador to the South American country, said Maria Nila Prada, minister of the Bolivian presidency, in an update. In addition to dissolving diplomatic ties with Israel, she said Bolivia's government demand the end of attacks in the Gaza Strip, which have so far led to thousands of civilian deaths, and the forced displacement of Palestinian people, according to a CNBC translation.